Welcome back to the channel, guys. In the last video, I mentioned that I should do a video on modifying the dates of WordPress and basically the post date and stuff like that that comes through typically is not the same as the date of where you're at unless you've changed the date on the server. But most of the time it's not right and there's a GMT date, a Greenwich Mean Time date, and a regular date and most of those for us are all the same for some reason. So I wanna show you guys how to um, change the date into a readable format. And I'm gonna use the same plugin that we built in the last video if you didn't watch that. You can, I'll link it up here in the little cards or whatever you wanna call those things. So let's just jump right into it and get started. So here on the ideapro.io website that we were using yesterday, and we made this little uh, latest post plugin, we made the two plugins that connect with each other, plugin A and plugin B. We're gonna modify this date right here, and this is the format that comes from WordPress. So it's in that format, and we're gonna take it to a, you know different formats depending on what we want the date to look like. So over here in our code, we jump right over into our code here, the date that we're using is the post date. Now, if we echo out the latest here, which is our latest post that we did in that previous video, come on, we come back over here and we refresh, it's gonna show us that we have a couple of dates that we can use. We can use post date and post date GMT. Now, if you look at here, it's 1835.49 and 1835.49. And that's what I was talking about, the dates being the same for the post date and the post Greenwich Mean Time. So that means our server is set up to use the same date as, as Greenwich Mean Time, which here we are not Greenwich Mean Time. Here in Arizona, we are GMT minus seven hours. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna get this date to a usable date minus seven hours. Let's go over here into our code and we're gonna get rid of this, all right? So we're gonna create a variable and we're gonna call it, let's just call it new date. Now there's many ways to manipulate dates in PHP and there's some functions in WordPress that do it, but I'm gonna show you the PHP, kind of the basic date function and we, we can go from there. There's you know a, an object-oriented new date class that you can use, but, but we're gonna use just the date function to manipulate the date. So we're gonna say new date is equal to, and the first thing we wanna do is we wanna use this post date. So we're just gonna say latest post and that's it. So now we can take new date and replace this here with new date. Okay, so all we're doing is we're saying create a variable called new date and make it equal to the latest post date, which is that date that comes from the database. So now from there, we can now tell it that we want to uh, be minus seven hours. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say new date is equal to date and we're gonna close the little parentheses so we want the same format that's already being used. We want to keep that for right now. And that format is Y-M-D space capital H colon or semicolon, whichever one they are, I semicolon S. So if we go back here and look, we've got year dash month dash day space hour in 28, 24 hour format, which is a capital H, colon or semicolon, minutes, semicolon, and seconds, all right? So that's the same date that we're gonna keep here. Now, if we did that, it's going to actually, new date is now going to become the current date. But we want to make it the date from what the post was made, all right? So after this closing, double quotes here, we're gonna put a comma and we're gonna say str to time, string to time. So basically what that's doing is getting it from the database, it's a string. It's not a, it's not a date format, it's a string format. And so we're gonna take that string to time. So basically this function is smart enough to look at the date and go, oh, it's year hyphen month hyphen day space, hour, you know, 24 hour, semicolon minutes, semicolon seconds. It's smart enough to see that. So 
string to time, and then we're going to put in new date. Okay, so now that we've done that, all we're doing now is saying date is equal to exactly what the date was before because we haven't changed this format. And in this one, we don't want to change the format yet. We want to still use that same format, and I'll show you why. So here, after this, we're going to put a dot and two single quotes. So inside of these two single quotes, we're going to tell it how far or how, you know, um, the plus or minus minutes, days, hours, and stuff like that. So as I said before, we're minus seven here in Arizona, GMT minus seven. So that date is already wrong. I know it's not right. So I know it's seven hours too far ahead. So we're gonna say minus seven, minus seven hours, okay? So now that we've done that, now this post date is going to be minus seven hours, all right? So let's go ahead and leave that echoed out that we had of the latest. So you can see where we started with the, the, the date there, okay? So we're gonna save that, and we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna refresh. Okay, so now you see that we have 2019, 8, 11, 18, 35, 49. So now if you look down here where our actually our new date is showing, it's 2019, 8, 11, 1135. It's no longer 1835, it's 1135. So that means that we have taken seven hours off of that date and this is the Arizona time for that post, okay? So, so that's how easy it is to take seven hours off of a date is to um, just do new date minus seven hours inside of the string to time function and then inside of that date function. Now that we've done that, we have our new date time correct for the Arizona time, but it's still in a readable format that most people aren't going to like. Most people like to see, you know, Sunday, March 12th at whatever, blah, blah, right? So now we can change this date however we want. And the best place to look for that is if you go to php.net and you do a search for date, it used to be right here on the page where they did the full list of the what the uh, parameters that you could use, like, you know, for capital Y is the four years for Y uh, year, uh, lowercase Y is two years. You know, they used to have that full list, but they've changed that full list onto this here. So this date time interface format. So if we open this in a new tab, we can come over here and we can look at this. And here is this list that I'm talking about. We've got you know, the day, which we can use a lowercase d for 0, 1 to 31, that's the day of the month. And we can do a capital D, a, a, you know, lowercase j, so all that. And then you come down here and you got week, month, year, and here's that, you know, capital Y and a, and a lowercase y. Um, capital L says whether that date is a leap year. So if you're looking at the date and you want to know if it's a leap year or not, you can just use a, an L and it will... Um, give you that, whether it's a leap year or not. So then you come down to time and you've got lowercase a, capital A for lowercase a.m. and have capital a, uh, p.m., a.m., p.m. Um, and then I for minutes, and that's zero, zero to 59. So, so this is the list of what you can use inside of that date function to um, set up your date, right? But if we go back to the php.net and where we've done a search for date, there's a good example down here that gives you examples of what you can use here. So we've got March 10th, 2001, you know. So that looks like a pretty good date that most people are gonna be able to understand. You know, it's not something, you know, like this or 10-3, 2000, 2001. This includes the month, day, year, and the time that we've done. It doesn't include the in seconds, but who really cares if that includes the seconds? So let's copy this right here, and we're gonna come back over here to the code, and we're gonna say dollar sign new date is equal to date, and then we're gonna do double quotes there, and we're gonna paste in what we just copied. Now, again, we're gonna use string to time 
and put in dollar sign new date here. So we're still going to use that string to time just to make sure that it understands that we're, you know, still using a possible string for the date. That way, if you decide to come up here and take out that seven hours, this still works and, and still formats the date. It just no longer is minus seven hours. So we're going to leave that in there. So now we have string to time new date and we didn't put anything after new date here because we don't want to, we don't need to change that that hours anymore. We've already taken away the seven hours here. All right. So we're going to save that and we're going to come over and we're going to refresh our page here. And now it says the date is August 11th, 2019 at 1135 AM. So that's how easy it is to change the format of the date. And you can use any of these you know these examples here or you can go over to here and you can make your own exam make your own your own format you know so let's say if we wanted to let's say we wanted even the day in there let's change it to this one where it says saturday march 10th you know and and all that mountain standard time all right so we're going to go over here and we're going to paste that in and we're going to save it we'll come back over to our page and we're going to refresh and there you go. And so this says Saturday, uh, Sunday, August 11th at 1135 UTC 2019. Now UTC was the, um, just the original date that the date was formatted in. And to change that, you need to change it on the server. And you can do that in PHP the, to change the entire, um, the the entire website, like in your functions.php, you could put that at the top to change the date. I've noticed that when we've done that on some sites, it actually really affects um, Yoast, the Yoast plugin, and I'm sure it affects other plugins. Like we have a Yoast, a client that uses Yoast local, and we set the time in PHP for their website. And whenever we went and looked at our contact page where we were pulling in the open hours that Yoast local provides, they were all off. It was like the, the company was opening at 3 a.m. and closing at 1 p.m. or something like that. And so it threw it all off. So then we had to go out and take that out and then format the date like this, minus seven hours because the server is set up to GMT, Grand Mean Time. Like and subscribe to this video. Please like this video so that YouTube knows it's a great video. And subscribe. Click the bell for notifications because everyone knows that Subscriptions don't really mean that much in YouTube and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks Almost didn't turn on my microphone Every developer needs coffee. Okay I should put something over here to make it the reflection Do you like